Howdy folks, Tom Barbalo here. I was speaking about I've realised now what I need to do is film miniatures and talk over the top. <laughs> so these are the uh, these are the ogres that uh, Rochi Rochford made for me, specifically for if they could be included with the dwarves. They're not the most dwarven-like ogres possible. This is the champion with a uh, crossbow launcher. They're not the most, uh, <laughs> this, his back get up is beautiful too. So unfortunately I found a bunch of dwarves that don't have any shields and I'm using the ogre's shields as being a reference for what I wanted to do. So this one, for example, I want to basically have the dwarves have that shield as well, or a version of that shield at least, uh, with the view that these guys have picked up the shield somewhere in battle. Um, but they really are beautiful miniatures. And the idea is to add a little bit to what's lacking in the dwarves, basically. Give them some movement and strength. They can roll the guards against various adversaries. Another, there are a couple in Spain. Uh, he doesn't actually have the shield one. Same shield. So it's the same. But I think this is a twin of the previous one. With a slightly different beard colour. So anyway, the books are out now. Well, not out. The books are announced, at least. And they're actually slightly cheaper than I thought they'd be, which is pretty good for actually getting the books. But I'm really interested to see what they'll do with these armies, particularly the uh, the Greenskins and Chaos, but also with regards to the Dwarves, to see if the Dwarves can field some of these kind of helper units. Oh, I wanted to show the Wizard. didn't get an opportunity to show the Wizard last time. Um, it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful miniature. Let's see if we can get the... So when I found the wizard, I was like, okay, we have our wizard character finally for Chaos. Uh, and this guy's relatively understated. He's got the Fleur of Clothes, which I was liking him to have. Um, but just a beautiful old wizard. Uh, will no doubt be, uh, relatively quick to be removed on the battlefield. I also wanted to show the standard, uh, that Rochi had made for this particular army. Very much a slanish standard, but uh, the wizard is siege, the standard is slanesh, I think it'll all work out uh, in the wash, so to speak. Let me move these miniatures over. Let me get started with the dwarves. I found all these dwarves in the pile that I showed are uh, without shields, so I bought a bulk order of uh, old world dwarven shields from, I think, old world miniatures or old hammer miniatures. So all these dwarves here are missing their shields, um, which has to be rectified. I think I'll use that red shield imprint as being the way to get unification through them. First group. Second group. <laughs> all needing shields. Third group. Let's rotate this around. So yes, I need to get shields for all of these guys, because they have shield stumps. I'll see what the rules are specifically, actually, when I get them. But yeah, I think they needed shields anyway, to start off with. So hopefully I've gotten both the talk and the miniatures in. Looks like I'll get all the books, review all the books against the armies I have existing. Review them with regards to things like shields and base sizes. Base sizes are going to be interesting because some of the bases, like for example the Dragon Ogre that I have, is probably much larger than the Dragon Ogre base that they will end up using in the rules. So I have to make a decision um, based on a variety of factors. I think a lot of these things are down to actual, um, you know, discussion with the people you're playing against beforehand, saying, sure, this Dragon Ogre actually has a much larger base than it probably should, but it's probably an advantage to the opponent that the base size is larger because they can probably rank more against it potentially, although potentially it could mean that it could attack more initially, who knows. So just putting the dwarves back. But yeah, the Dragon Ogre is a real beauty. I should probably get the Dragon Ogre out, which is exactly what I'm organising to do currently. So moving all these things over so I can get the Dragon Ogre out. Give him a few minutes in daylight. So let's move our Ogre dudes back over. Crossbow. 
front of the musician. The musician is the musician. I got his out. Right now. Musician. There we go. Okay. And here's the. Beautiful wizard. And a substantial stand bearer. Let's get the dragon ogre out. How are we going to do this any any justice? So here's the uh, top of the dragon ogre. He's a beauty. This guy's a beauty. Okay, let's move some of these guys back. Look at that. That is a model. <laughs> that is a model. I think when I first got him, his tail was broken and his arm was broken. And he required a lot of repairs. It seems curious, actually, whether or not I'll be able to use the minotaurs, um, the centaurs, and potentially the obviously the greater demon the bloodthirster probably won't be able to use so this whole army will become in fact i might be able to use the ogres um although they're marked with the dwarf clan oh uh, we'll work it out in the wash but yeah the dragon ogre is a beautiful beautiful miniature classic old gw miniature uh, i've had a couple of them in my life i've passed them on to friends usually but i kept this one for myself because obviously it came with the rochi army anyway if you like these talk and view miniatures videos as opposed to just my mug, please let me know in the comments. Anyway, Happy New Year all. Tom Barbalay in Las Vegas, Nevada, signing out.